Yo, what's going on YouTube, it's Ivan Steph and you guys, I'm not sure if the world's just full of more snowflakes or if more people are just being a**. But if I had to guess, I would say a little bit of both. Now regarding diss tracks, I personally love them. I find them funny, I find them entertaining, and I appreciate all of the thought and creativity that's involved in them. And I like them because I understand the difference between personal and business. And what I mean by saying that is the Quadeca vs KSI beef, Logan Paul vs Jake Paul beef, and heck, even the Morgs vs Morgs' mom beef are all entertaining and it's just part of the game. They don't actually hate these people. It's just for the entertainment. My entire channel is based around roasting and exposing people so trust me I understand dissing people for entertainment but recently Keemstar and Voy dropped the diss track on the entire Korean pop fan base titled K-pop stands diss track. So I've heard of this channel before and I'm not even gonna lie, I mean their diss tracks usually are fire. Like the one on Jake Paul, I found it funny, it was entertaining, and I did leave it a thumbs up. But this new diss track on the K-pop stands really isn't it. There's a fine line between dissing someone and being a complete asshole by mocking someone's death. Um, what is this? Bro didn't even diss K-pop stands, he dissed someone's That's sickening. I'm not even a K-pop stand, but making fun of someone's is too far. Plus, you're supposed to hate the fans, not the artists who are literally just trying to make a living. As you can see, many people are upset about a particular line that was said in this diss track. And I am going to show you that line, but before I do, I want to show you a few other things about the song that I personally got a problem with. Fuck Jimmy, I'm gonna say what I wanna. First of all, like I don't even really listen to BTS. I do think they're talented, but you know they're not my go-to for music or anything like that. But even I know that that's not Jimin, that's Jungkook. And second of all, Juice WRLD was a fan of BTS and even collabed with them in a song titled All Night. So how are you going to be roasting BTS and the rest of K-pop but literally be using an instrumental from one of Juice WRLD's songs titled All Girls Are The Same? And I'm not sure if showing Jungkook instead of Jimin was supposed to be a sneak diss saying all Asians look the same instead of all girls look the same. And if that was the intention, that's not a diss. That's just being flat out racist. And the audacity to drop this song now, a diss track on an Asian music genre in a time where Asian hate crimes are on the rise and there's much more discussion being made about Asian xenophobia. Like, there's a time and place for everything, but dropping it now, like, how stupid you gotta be. No friends, no food, no wife. Corporations getting in a bag like a corn chip. These kids starving themselves, but they hell just can't afford it. Yeah, they can't afford it, and healthy can't ignore it. Now, my problem with these lines is that they're talking about these kids starving themselves, which is referring to Jimin. Now, for those who don't know, Jimin either had or currently has an eating disorder. And not just Jimin, many K-pop artists starve themselves because having skinny feet features like a slim waist, thin hips, and a small body are the beauty standards in Korea. And if you don't look a certain way, you're an outcast from society. So making fun of this societal beauty standard that celebrities are almost forced to live in and making fun of eating disorders it's just such a low move. All right, so now I want to show you the main reason why this song is getting so much hate and why this dislike ratio is absolutely insane. So there's this K-pop boy band named Shinny, and sadly in December 2017, their lead singer Jung Hyun ended his own life. And for anyone's life to end this way is absolutely devastating, but he in particular had millions of fans, which made millions of people devastated when they heard the news. So where I'm going with this is that Void thought it would be an amazing idea to make fun of his death. Wow, like how low do you gotta be to make fun of someone's death, especially when they commit it truly is disgusting. Like you can dish the genre all you want. No one is forcing you to like this type of music and no one is forcing you to like the fans of this music. And trust me, we all have varying opinions and that's completely fine. But you gotta learn to separate your hate for a music genre and an actual human being. This guy had friends, family, and millions of fans. So joking about his death is not only offensive to him, but it is offensive to millions of others who have cared about him or looked up to him. All right, so I'm currently editing, but a little bit of an update. I was watching the music video again and I noticed that Void went back and censored out Jung Hyun and the people carrying his casket. So even he realized what he said is offensive to him and his family, but he has yet to take down the video because his 500,000 views is more important to him than respecting the death of a human being. Now whether being disrespectful and mocking someone's death was Void's intention or not, it is what happened. So I feel like from here the right thing to do is to take down the video edit out that part and Keemstar's all Asians look the same part and re-upload the video. Instead of making this tweet where you say you would never delete the video because you don't care if people get triggered about someone's side. Okay, so after this song, people were coming hard at Keemstar. And you might be asking yourself right now, but if Void was the one who dissed the guy's death, 
why is Keemstar getting all the hate? And I personally was confused about that too, but after looking at his Twitter, I mean, he's just as accountable for this. And while it is true that Keemstar didn't verbally say those words, the responses that he made about this song afterwards really just didn't do him any good. Talking about that he didn't even hear that particular line of the song until after it was released and had no involvement in it. Now that we have 100% evidence that I am innocent, right? Void came out with that statement. I had no involvement in his part of the song. I didn't see the song before it came out. You saw the statement from Void, right? Now that I've been proven to be 100% innocent, I demanded an apology from UK pop stands. And he was also saying that as a result of all this drama, he was receiving death threats. But I want UK pop stands to think twice before you're saying this mean stuff online, issuing death threats to people, you know, making fun of other people's dead relatives, like you were making fun of my dead mom and stuff. I want you to think twice because you could hurt people. Now look, not to defend Keemstar or Void, but I truly don't agree with sending them death threats. Like, yeah, I know what they said was offensive, but sending these people death threats because you're upset that they made fun of someone's death, it really doesn't solve the problem. Like, you can't fight fire with fire. By all means, you can call them out for what they did, you can report the song, or you can even diss them back, but sending them death threats in retaliation really doesn't make you the bigger person. I've always thought that cancel culture is really stupid because we shouldn't be telling people to go die for the mistakes that they made. We should be educating people on what they did was wrong and how to improve in the future. But you know what I do find ironic about this situation is that Keemstar was talking about the death threats he received, saying how it's mean and can hurt people, and he also made a tweet saying, Dear K-pop stands, like I've been saying, I'm innocent. I demand a full apology for falsely accusing me and for attacking my dead mother, knowing full well she can't fight back. Hashtag K-pop cowards. Now look, I don't agree with, you know, bashing his dead mother or anything like that. My condolences to Keemstar. But I do find it ironic how he's making such a big deal about this, but he still hasn't condemned Void's words. Void's to blame, okay? I didn't write Void's lyrics, Void wrote his own lyrics, I didn't hear those lyrics and I didn't edit the video, it is not on my channel, it's not on my platform, it's on Void's platform, Void is 100% to blame. <laughs> wow, just imagine laughing about this situation, there is nothing funny at all. But what I find funny is that he was saying that this song isn't on his channel and isn't on his platform, yet he hasn't removed the tweet he made shouting out the music video. And Keemstar still has not called out Void for how offensive the lyrics are and has not asked him to take down the music video. So yeah, I understand that Keemstar didn't physically upload the video and he did not verbally say those words, but he still is an accomplice to this. And like I said, he's really just digging himself a bigger grave by everyone calling him racist or anti-Asian because he posted this photo with the caption, chilling with my Asian fans right now. This honestly gives me the I'm not racist because I have black friends type of vibe. And also, this picture wasn't even taken recently, it's old. The guy on the left is a YouTuber named Plain Rock 124 and this picture was taken in February 2020. So, digging up a photo with you standing beside an Asian guy from over a year ago to do damage control to show people you're not anti-Asian. Keemstar also made a tweet with a picture of Kim Jong-un with the caption, I'm on FaceTime with my homie talking about this K-pop thing. He agrees with me. Nice. Nice. Let's share a picture of one of the evilest dictators out there and make a joke about it. And also, K-pop is in South Korea. Kim Jong-un is a leader of North Korea, so like I, I don't really understand what he was trying to get at here. It looks like to me that he's just trying to further separate the division between the two. Alright guys, but anyways, that's gonna do it for my part, but I really want to know what you guys have to say about this, so leave a comment down below and I will be reading and responding to a bunch of comments. And if you did enjoy my breakdown and opinion on this situation, be sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already. But until next time, it's been Ivan Steph. Peace.